Did you know that the LEGO Group once teamed up with Mojang to make a LEGO Minecraft game? Around 2011, the LEGO Group had a growing interest in creating a LEGO sandbox game. Their first attempt at this was with LEGO Universe, which was originally planned to have game making tools. However, those were eventually scrapped in favor of having more action focused gameplay. At the same time, Minecraft had started becoming quite the hit, and Notch, the creator of the game, happened to reach out to the company. He had two goals in mind one, getting a job at the LEGO Group, and two, creating a LEGO branded game similar to Minecraft. During one of the very first meetings between Mojang and LEGO, the excitement from both sides was very clear. Soon after, Notch announced a project was in the works, codenamed Brickcraft at the LEGO Group and Brexquando at Mojang. Development seemed to be going pretty well, with a LEGO Terrain Generator prototype being quickly created by Notch. There were plans to add various biomes to explore, including cities, jungles, and pirate ships. A screenshot was even shared. However, in June of 2012, Notch announced it had been cancelled. Although the officially stated reason was to focus on current projects, an employee at Mojang went on to say that it had likely been due to the lack of freedom associated with working with a large bureaucratic company like the Ligger Group, something the indie team simply wasn't used to. For example, plans to add scratches to bricks led to a lot of pushback. No matter the reason, the cancellation devastated the Ligger Group, leading them to briefly consider investing in or even outright purchasing Mojang. But those plans quickly fell through due to Microsoft's growing interest in the company. In the end, they did end up making their sandbox game, LEGO World. They also tried again with the China exclusive LEGO Cube, but in both cases, nothing to the level of popularity of Minecraft. And although a few fan-made resource packs have tried to emulate that idea, we'll unfortunately never get to see what an official collaboration would have looked like.